Are you looking for the best sunglasses for the softball field? I got you covered with the full lineup from top to bottom right here. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from SporterX and today we're gonna talk about the best softball sunglasses. We got the lineup right here. Now, as a former softball athlete, I played in college, I played in high school, I played travel, I did the whole thing. I never wore sunglasses for the reason that I didn't have the right information about what to wear. I was trying to wear my everyday sunglasses, my Ray-Bans, whatever, out on the field. So I just stuck with the visor because nothing would stay on my face and it would always obstruct my vision whenever I was dropping down to get a ball, so fielding a ball, or if I was at the plate and I was trying to look through my periphery, a pair of sunglasses I found to be a distraction. But now, knowing what I know now, if I knew then, I would be wearing something that's on this table. So let's get right into it. Leading off, we got the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. XL stands for extended lens, which is exactly what you need on the field so that you have a ton of coverage when you're looking downward to field a ground ball. You don't have that frame obstruction. I'm gonna try it on here. You don't have that frame obstruction obstructing your view when you're looking downward. And you also have a lot of area to work with when you're looking upward to track a ball in the air in the outfield or, or even in the infield. So um, great coverage here with the Flak 2.0 XL. You get amazing uh, prism lens technology to choose from when you're shopping Oakley. So their prism lens technology is great because what you're gonna get is a lens that tunes out all of the noise and really brings the colors that you need to see to the forefront. So prism has a uh, prism field lens technology. It's gonna help the ball pop so you can track it on the ground and in the air really well. SFW measurement on the FLAC 2.0 XL is a 135, so that's about a men's medium um, to a women's large fit. I tend to like a little bit larger to extra large fit, so um, this frame fits me really well. Um, there's also other options within the Oakley Flak family if you want like a half jacket or a smaller size that has kind of similar functionality and similar DNA, then there's a ton of options that Oakley has to offer. Um, in addition, you get the unobtainium nose pads and rubberized temple tips. So what that's gonna do is just help keep the frame securely in place as you're out there all day weekend tournaments. You've got um, a rubberized grip that's gonna work harder for you as you work harder. Next up, we got the Nike Show X2. Oh, if I didn't mention, available in prescription with the FLAC, available in prescription with the Show X2, totally RXable. Um, the thing I love about these glasses, not only were they made with ball and stick sport in mind, they're called the Show X2, um, but they have this rubber uh, adjustable nose pad. And I can't speak enough about an adjustable nose pad, especially with if you have higher cheekbones, that's gonna be great for you because what it does, it keeps the frame lifted off your face and you don't have that lens resting on your cheek. So you're not getting it all cakey and gross from hitting your face. Your lens stays nice and clear. And then of course the frame just fits comfortably on your face. So again, when you're out there all day, especially when you're playing those tournaments on the weekends, you don't want to have a frame on that you have to think about. Having that adjustable nose pad is going to help you keep that off your face and just, you know, you almost forget that you're wearing the frame. You can get uh, the lenses in prescription. We have Sporter X Sport Optimized lenses on our site. So if there's something you want specific for your playing conditions, you have a ton of options to choose from. The SFW measurement on the Nike Show X2 is a 138. So it's about a large fit for both men and for women. Next up, we got the Rudy Project Ride On. And let me tell you, from it, when it comes to customer feedback, this is right on. <laughs> Rudy does a great job with their frame design. It's one of the most popular uh, sport frames that that our athletes buy here. And it's a Rexy Award winner. So it won the Durability Award last year. And let me tell you, if you're on the field, and hopefully this doesn't happen, but if you ever take a ball to the face, um, the Rudy Project Ride On is super durable. They did such a great job with their frame design. I'm gonna just, I just kind of preached about the, um, adjustable nose pads. Rudy Project has made the best adjustable nose pads that I've ever seen. So these super adjustable, um, nice and grippy. I'm gonna try them on. Keeps them nice and optically aligned. It's like, it's almost like, 
I feel like they won't come off. So when you're out there and you're and you're pivoting and you're running and you're turning on a ball or you're turning a play, like you're not having to worry about this thing coming off your face, especially with that adjustable nose pad. It's gonna keep them nicely um, sitting off of your cheeks there and nice and optically aligned. Uh, if you have a prescription that's super, super high or super strong, there's a dock option for this as well. So tons of uh, prescription range if you need prescription correction. Um, also available with the Sporter X Sport optimized lenses. The cool thing about the lenses here is that Rudy Project uh, designed, they're very engineering, which is what I appre uh, appreciate about Rudy Project. So they engineered this nice little divot in the lens, which helps promote airflow. And what that does is allow air to, to run across the surface of the lens, which helps combat fogging. So super important. You don't want your lenses fogging out there on the field. The SFW measurement on the ride on is a 138. So it's about a, a large fit. All right, last but certainly not least, we, we're gonna wrap up with the two uh, frames at the end here, which are not prescriptionable. So if you got that 2020 vision, lucky you, you're in good shape for the Under Armour Playmaker. Um, again, not our Rexable, but you get a ton of lens coverage. So what I really appreciate about the lens coverage in this frame is that you get that extended view in the periphery there, which is super important, especially when you're at the plate, right? You don't want a frame in the middle of your view when you're trying to track a pitch in to the plate. So the Under Armour Playmaker, super popular frame, um, super lightweight. You get all this nice grippiness here that in the temples, you get some ventilation in the temple tips here to just help prevent slippage. So it's not allowing all that sweat to kind of pool in the back of your, uh, your temples, kind of gross, but you got that nice air outlet there for that. And then you have a rubberized uh, adjustable nose pad, which you already know how I feel about the adjustable nose pad. So you get that with the Playmaker. SFW measurement on the Playmaker is a 135. So it's about a uh, men's medium, women's large fit. And last but certainly not least, we've got the probably coolest kit on the block here with the 100% S3, totally on trend style. It's got that 80s, 90s kind of retro -y throwback vibe. I'm gonna throw this thing on. Huge lens coverage. I mean, you're literally wearing a windshield on your face, which is probably why you, you might see this frame a lot on a lot of MLB players. You see a ton of people wearing this. In fact, I think 100% collabed with Fernando Tatis Jr. with a, with a collab frame. Tons of lens coverage. Again, you get this ventilation here at the bottom of the frame. It's got mostly a half frame design, but you get a little bit of a frame here. But again, because it's so big, you're not worried about that obstruction. So you get the nice ventilation going through the, the bottom of the frame to help combat fogging. And then you get this really tall lens area and really wide lens area so that you're not um, worried about a frame getting in front of your view. So again, super dope frame. It looks cool. It feels really good on. You get a ton of coverage and you get style points too. SFW measurement on the S3 is a 137. So if a large fit is for you and you've got 2020 vision, then can't go wrong with the 100% S3. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. I hope all you softball players out there can now rock it on the field without just wearing your visor. You can get some actual coverage out there uh, knowing about the best sunglasses. If there's any questions we left unanswered, please just drop them in the comments below. We'll get back to you. We also have amazing knowledgeable sports opticians who are specialized in sports, specialized for your needs. They're not gonna recommend you a pair of Ray-Bans for the, for the um, softball field, maybe for driving or every day, but not for the softball field. Um, so we've got a ton of people here and ton of resources that can help you find the right frame for you. You can also check out the videos and blogs linked in the description below for even more lists and guides on the best softball sunglasses. Thanks again so much for watching. We hope you found this useful. If you did, we got a ton of more content here on our SporterX YouTube channel. Follow us on social media for all of our fun shenanigans. And all the frames are linked below. So if you wanna just go directly to the site, we got you covered there. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell so you never miss a new video.